and it is live hello everyone you're probably watching an ad right now doesn't matter it's fine as long as twitch uh, gives us a little bit of tosh it's all good <laughs> So, it's Tuesday, and with all of the interesting games out of the way, well, might as well get started, or get back, into OpenMW. And just as I was setting up, I noticed something. See? Look at the light. Look at the ground. Look at the light. Look at the ground. There's some interesting HDR effects going on there. Oh, it froze. <laughs> Just as I was praising it and saying, you know what, this looks great. The game just straight up freezes. There we go. It is the usual freeze, about 30, uh, about uh, five seconds or so, and it comes back. Hello, Jill. Okay, so that particular <laughs> very rudimentary HDR effect going on there. Last I left off, I was actually in the middle of a dungeon right there. Uh, no, it wasn't right there. It was right there. Oh, you can't see, you can't see the cursor. So, it's north of Margon, south of the Valenvarian Fortress. And I found a scroll to teleport me out, and I teleported out, and here I am. So, I notice I am not wearing any boots. Why am I not wearing any boots? Did, did I sell my boots? Oops. <laughs> I suppose I sold my boots. <laughs> let's uh, let's go see if I can find some boots first. Boots. And there is a blacksmith person who sells armor. So let's hope he has some boots. Do you have boots? He has Dark Brotherhood boots. But that's light armor. I'm a heavy armor character build thing. If you need a good laugh or a tall tale, you've come to the right place. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I, I can't. I can't steal stuff, otherwise they'll ban me from the guild. I mean, care to talk? You're a welcome break from the locals. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, no. Not gonna steal from the guild. This time well around. Met. Yes. And we should then. I'll find some boots at some point. It's it's fine. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, yes. It's, just, it's been a while. Um, since I figured I mostly hit my cap on the uh, level 5 and what I can do to progress in the Guild of Fighters story or quest line as it may be. Let's just go back to Balmora and talk to Caius Cassades to continue. Walk when you can ride. It's a very good question. Um, to continue our little Well, to continue the main quest, I suppose. And even though we did level up in athletics a little bit, it's clearly not enough. There was someone who trained athletics around here. Carlita, do you train in athletics? No, you do not. Okay. What's your? There's no one in there. Oh, there was a person around here. Maybe upstairs. Oh, Blander. Done. Uh, fast Eddie. Yeah, it makes sense uh, that he would train in that. No, he doesn't. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> well, wherever that particular person is, not around here. Done. I can do that too. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Caius Cassades lives back there. Yes, I know I'm not from Fardenfell, you don't need to keep pointing it out. Outlander this and Outlander that. <laughs> yeah. Hello, the shirtless well, hello man. There. A pleasure to meet you. 
you train in unarmored speechcraft and hand to hand. Okay, cool. Yes. My orders. Ready for orders? Good. Go talk to Hasfet and Tabulus at the Balmora Fighters Guild. Ask him what he knows about the Nerevarine. Secret cult and the sixth house. Secret cult. To do him a f you'll have to do him a favor first. Probably an ugly favor, but do it. Then get the information from Antabolus and report back to me. And by the way, he's a student of the Morrowind history. Take a chance to get a little education. A short history of Morrowind and the Nerevarine. There we go. Already establishing the <laughs> the starting bits of the main quest. Trusted informant says there's secret cults associated with some strange events recently. And more important, my informant thinks these recent disturbances are related in some way to the Nerevarine prophecies. The illiterate Ashlanders. Judgmental much? Passed down their customs in history in the form of poetic verses. Among the first things they preserve in the verse are the dreams and prophetic visions of their wise women. In particularly, in particular, the verses that foretell the coming of the Nerevarine. But I don't know much about it. You're lying. That's why I'm sending you to find out. Okay. <laughs> and find out we shall. Let me know if the music is too loud or overpowering. I should also not mumble while I'm reading. That that usually helps. That looks different. That was probably an update to OpenMW because that all looks different. It's all very detailed. It's all very or that or I just change to a different monitor now everything looks Matsera. different yes Matsera stop get thank you <laughs> okay so um Antabolus and the fighters guild let's see if we can find all right no how fair thee friend Wayne no Antabolus go in there how about here? You. Yes. If, if you I can be talk, of any assistance, I'll be happy to privilege. One at a time, please. Okay. Let's see. So you're Caius, eh? And Caius wants information? Of course. There's a this for that involved. I require a favor first, and then I'll tell you what you want to know. There are Dwemer ruins called Anglon. I need you to run over there and find me a little cube with a circular design and some symbols on one side. It's called the Dwemer Puzzle Box. Bring me back the Dwemer Puzzle Box and I'll tell you what you want to know. Okay. Remember that name. <laughs> Very close, yes. <laughs> Should you need something, I will be happy to oblige. Thank you. Okay, so it's the Dwemer ruins we can see from atop the uh, the thing there. I don't really remember how to get there on foot, but if we just go in its general direction, we should be able to get inside. Maybe. Let's see. We make a oh, special it's... It's either extra foggy or the game has reset my, um... Or maybe that was the change that I made to try and curb the freezing for however many seconds. I lowered the view distance a little bit. Makes sense. Okay. A little bit of a uh, story since we're now trying to figure out uh, what the cult of the Nerevarine and the Sixth House are. Well, the Sixth House was the House of Indril Nerevar. And the cult of the Nerevarine are the ones that are trying to basically keep the legend alive. And according to their prophecy, the Nerevarine is coming back to Vardenfell. 
We are the Nerve <laughs> And I guess if we go down the side here, we can actually get around the place. Maybe. <laughs> Music is a bit loud, maybe just a bit lower. Okay, let's bring that down a wee bit. Right there. Right around there should be good. Alright. So, uh, those, it's that, that big tower there and the rest of the ruins around it. That's where we're headed anyway. Um, I just want to be sure that we can get there from here. I know that there's a bridge that we can cross. And there's a stupid little, there's the bridge. There's a cliff racer, there it is. I saw it fade. And there's someone waiting for us at the bridge. There's another cliff racer and another cliff racer. One, two, three. Okay, he wants to fight. <laughs> You haven't hit me yet. I mean, I'm just dodging. <laughs> he hit me. Alright. <laughs> My turn to hit him. Okay. Snowy Granius. He looks uncomfortable. Yeah, he looks dead. <laughs> And the rain has stopped. And now we get some ash. Because the wind's picking up. Good times. And then... Well, this door is very, very not open. Oh yes, I see. My problem. All I did was open the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, at least I can hit them relatively um, regularly. In any case, we're inside the hole of centrifuge. It is on. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's another exit, so even I, I don't think we'll be stuck in here. Okay, they have apparently for one of them it's pointless. The other one has the upper hand. Something tells me they're both going to die. Because <laughs> you are meant to, uh, kind of start doing the, um, the main story quests a bit earlier than I did. I was just trying to get as far as possible in the, um, Fire's Guild. Okay, since those guys were living around here, let's go see what they were protecting. whole lot of nothing. Well, there's a door to the Weeping Bell Hall. Okay, so since that takes us to another area, let's see what's there. And I have a sneaking suspicion there may be something up here. The Cells of the Hollow Hand. Uh-huh. This is a bit brighter than I remember. Yeah. A dwarven spear. What's our weight? Okay. I suppose. Ooh, Dwemer coin. Yes, yes. Yes, we shall take that. And that. Some paper. There's a bit more light in some places, like this bookshelf or rusted Dwemer cabinet. 
aren't very well lit up. I don't know. In any case... Let's see what's over on this side. See, this is a bit darker. This is more along the lines of what I had in mind. Wow, this is really dark. Really dark. <laughs> oh, there's someone there. I haven't seen us yet. Run while you still can, child. Child. <laughs> child. Okay. Um... Uh, well, that, the, that particular Nord wasn't very well equipped, or very strong. Some ornate stuff. Scrap metal. It's stupidly heavy, but it is a, an alchemical material. And what's here? The Whipping Bell Hall. So... Two possible entrances to the Weeping Bell Hall, and one for the Cells of the Hollow. Or, you know, two as well for the Cells of the Hollow, so... Eeny, meeny, my... whatever. We're already here. Dwemer stuff. Really? Death awaits me, does it? <laughs> I don't think it does. It's a nice shirt, even if it's a common shirt. Dwemer cogs, they weigh 50 pounds, or 50 units of thing. A Dance in the Fire, Chapter 4, Acrobatics to 41. Okay, I'll take the skill book. That's rotating, so whatever this machine is doing, it's still working. Well, I don't see a little cube with symbols down one side. Let's see what's in the barrels. Some raw glass. Which is apparently very valuable. And a diamond, also very valuable. And some raw ebony. Also very valuable. <laughs> Okay, so if that was a teeny tiny little place, maybe the other uh, uh, cells of the hollow hand are also teeny tiny places. Let's go back up these stairs and see what's actually behind door number two. Since you have to do some climbing and some jumping, maybe it'll be something interesting. Someone who cast a shield the moment I walked in. Didn't do the whole lot. Ooh. Undusi's unhinging. Yes, please. That way, if we find something that is very much locked, we can unlock it. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Dwemer puzzle box. Got it. <laughs> I think I might still go and uh, explore the rest of the place, but... We got what we came for. Mm. Yep, that's about it. Cool. See, back uh, in the time when this game was relevant. No, never really stopped being relevant for some people. Yours truly. <laughs> but... Yeah, but back in the day, I lost my train of thought there, but yes, <laughs> I was going to say something really insightful. Trust me. <laughs> what was I going to say? I don't remember. What ifs, um... If we can just drop down here. Oh, well, there's someone downstairs. 
the problem is, there are no stairs. What was I going to say? That's going to bug me now. You're mine. Am I now? Oh well. This is pointless. Give in. These um, ruin looters aren't very well equipped. Nothing there. Nothing there. And there's a cog, and nothing there. That seems to be very warm. That is just straight up lava. Yeah, yeah, that that that, that is lava. How do you? <laughs> Clearly, that was put there for a reason. So. Because you can't make that jump usually, so I'm assuming they want us to go. Here. I assume incorrectly. <laughs> yep, yeah, I'm going to die. Well, I'm not, because I seem to have uh, gotten myself stuck, but I did get a potion of levitation, so... Whee! <laughs> I am flying. <laughs> See, this used to be re uh, reserved for uh, cheats. But, uh, yeah. Now you can just fly in this game. And that was one of the things. It was always... One of those games that let give you a lot of freedom and let you do a bunch of different things. You have a big hammer that deals a lot of damage. Can't have that. <laughs> it's a steel ha war hammer, yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. Um... Efficacious bulb. Let's let's cast that. Come on, one more. There we go. Looks like an elevator of some sort. <laughs> but we can't really get up there from down here anyway. Well, I suppose we'll have to find a way to get there then. I think we can make this jump. Yes, yes we can. Yep. Very good. So apparently you need to get um, over there some other way. Let's see about this really warm place. Maybe it won't be Two war mess of damages. There we go. Come on. There we go. Breton's hiding in the dark. <laughs> Another diamond? Yes, please. And a glimmer coin. Glimmer coins are like the best bit of currency. And a very easy lock to pick. Clearly, clearly a um, starting area. Well, I say easy lock. Probably going to break this pick before I can open it. And it's broken. Cool. Another one. <laughs> At least the music's nice. Uh. Cylinder and a mug. Meh. No. Yeah. I need to find some boots. Because apparently I sold my boots like an idiot. Oop, there's a coin. And another one. The Dwemer love their coins, apparently. <laughs> Lock level 32. 
Okay, I, we do have uh, the scrolls of Unduzi's Unhinging. Which is a badass name for a spell, if you ask me. And put back to the efficacious balm. And bring out the sword. What's in here? Spider. And the spider wants a tango. Well, if you played Skyrim, you know exactly what the uh, centurion spiders actually look like in that game. Oh yeah, that was trapped, wasn't it? So was that. <laughs> that actually cast a burden on me. 20 points. So hopefully it'll wear out soon enough. Go on, kill the spider. There it is. I hear a ghost. And there's a heavy Dwemer chest. I guess we can use another one of those scrolls, because that's what they're good for. Yes. Ooh, it's a Dwemer shield. You know what? I don't have a shield, so I'm gonna use it. Uh, now I have a shield. <laughs> well, something spotted us. Ooh. An emerald and a diamond. That's an interesting sound effect <laughs> for the walking. Well, I don't see anything down there, so let's not fall, shall we? Okay. Not a whole lot of people watching today. If there was ever a day where I could just start, um, say... Just start saying disparaging remarks about people's mothers, this would be it. Ain't that right, Jill? <laughs> You're the only one here, so... <laughs> There's the ghost. <laughs> I mean, they call the Dwemer uh, dwarves, but they're not that small. If the ghost is uh, true to life, that is. Give me all that ectoplasm. No scrap metal. Well, plenty of scrap metal, but that's not what I'm looking for. Ooh, Dwemer left pauldron. Yes. <laughs> Let's get started on the um, Dwemer armor. It's a very good armor. Not as good as the um, Ebony armor, but very good. And of course, the Daedric armor is just better. But also stupidly heavy. Ooh, diamond. Yes. It pays to loot this place. <laughs> this is a weird layout. Alright. Because jumping is faster than running. Another ghost. I did not heal, which may have been a bad thing. Okay. This one didn't dodge as much. Take all. And let's heal. So now we get a heal. And of course it fails. Goodbye, ghost. I'm going to circle strafe the crap out of you. <laughs> Dwarven Spectre. Heaven's Gallery. I guess that was it, right? There was no other doors. Cool. Cool, cool. 
right. So let's see. What else do we need? There was something else. Right? I'm not going crazy. Yet. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> there was someone still alive with an iron tunto. No, well, guess we're not getting through there. There's a door all the way to the back there. Okay, before we go there, let's go up the stairs where she came from. And we found another alive person. <coughs> yes, please stay down. Thank you. Okay. There. There. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought I was going to die. Gotta actually pay attention to see which doors are trapped and which are not. Okay, nothing there. That door is trapped. You have a spear. If anything, you should be having a much easier time poking at me through the door than me. But what have you? It is a low level area after all. A Dwemer Cylinder. Dwemer Mug. Ooh, more coins. Journeyman's Lockpick, thank you. Alright. The Hall of Centrifuge, yes. Okay, so that gets us back up to where we were, which means we can go check that door that was on the cor- at the end of the other corridor. This one. Yes. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy! Let's see. It also goes back to the Hall of Centrifuge. Alright. <laughs> This one leads us back here, and the other one probably to the other side. Fair enough. Fair enough. And we do have the Dwemer puzzle box. Yeah, I know, this place used to be darker. I mean, this area here is very dark, but the whole bit of the ruins used to be much darker, from what I remember, because I had a lot of trouble actually finding the Dwemer puzzle box. <laughs> I had to come back here several times, and the last time was I only found it. Ah, yeah, see, it is dark. They give you some torches right at the start. Oh, uh, yeah. Athletics. Yay. We move a little bit faster, but jumping is still faster, so. Jump we shall. Hey, I forgot to loot this one. Cool. Alright, so we can hand the uh, puzzle box back to the person who wanted it. Then go back to Caius Cassades. I, I, I actually don't remember um, how many quests we need to do, but... There will be a point that um, Caius Cassades will have to go back to the Imperial City. And... That's what he basically says. Just go talk to this person and do whatever she asks you to do. And what she asks you to do is to have all of the, um... Have all of the houses and the temple and... 
some other faction recognize you as the Nerevarine. Yeah, the 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 great houses uh, have to name you Horator, I think, and the Ashen tribes have to call you Nerevarine. I think that's it. It's part of the reason why I want to replay this game. It's because yeah, stuff is starting to fade from my memory. But. I really do hope that the um, game that I played last week, um, Blasphemous, that they actually fixed the, the Linux version. There was an update released today. I haven't tested it yet, but that's what I'm going to do once the, uh, the stream is over. I'm going to go in and I'm going to see if they fix the, um, the getting stuck when you get a health upgrade. A yeah, bit of a frame skip there. What are we running at? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Ooh. With all of these graphs up and running, the, the furps take a bit of a hit. <laughs> Alright. I just need to go to the Fighters Guild first to hand over the Dwemer box. I got distracted. No, no you don't. May your kids be quick and many. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And of course he's always all the way down below in the training room. Do you train me in athletics? Yes. Athletics. 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 More athletics. As long as I have money, I will train in athletics. Just because I want to move a bit faster. Should have taken athletics as one of the um, major skills. But if you do, you can actually level up like twice on the way to Valmora alone. That's a lot of money. Yeah, I'm down to 128 money. <laughs> Little favor, yes. Nervreen, uh huh, and the sixth house. There you go. House Dagoth is the sixth house, the lost sixth house. In the first age, uh, House Dagoth betrayed the other great houses during the War of the First Council and was destroyed for their treason. I can answer any questions you have, but I'll also give you some notes to give to Caius and recommend some sixth house references he should read. Cool. Nerevar, Nerevar, Moon and Star, and the real Nerevar. Cool. So is that it? <laughs> I'm going to have to make some money at some point, because he took all of mine. Oh well. But we are considerably faster. Okay. <laughs> Jumping is still faster, but I don't think we're getting away from that anytime soon. To what do I owe this pleasure? Nothing whatsoever. Alright. Now we can go back to Caius Cassades. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Still very much enjoy that. Just walking around and hearing the Silt Strider in the background. Yeah, I suppose I did lower the um, the draw distance. And it didn't help with the freezing at all, because the moment we start the game, the, 
the stream, the game freezes. Go figure. Orders, yes. Some notes, yes. Okay, so more orders. You've glanced at his notes. They cover the Sixth House admirably, but not the Nerevarine cult. Hop on over to the Balmora Mages Guild. It's right next to the Balmora Fighters Guild. Get Sharn Gra Musgod to tell you what she knows about the Nerevarine. She'll have some silly errand for you to do. Do what she asks. And report back when she's given you the information. Alright. I shall do that. Yes. Patch quests. <laughs> and they're layered. And the music. That background music. Yes. All yep. right, I'm listening. From the name, I'm going to assume it is an orc. There you are. <laughs> Your wounds are great. No, my wounds are not great. I'm barely even... whatever. Um, necromancy. In the Empire, necromancy is a legitimate discipline, though body and spirit are protected property and may not be used without the permission of the owner. But in Morrowind, the Dunmer loathe necromancers and put them to death. That's absurd, of course, since the Dunmer summon their own dead to guard tombs and defend the family. Sacred necromancy is righteous, while philosophical necromancy is evil. It is the primitive superstition. It's primitive superstition, that's all. Necromancers. No, of course not. I can't teach you spells. I'm not a necromancer. No, absolutely not. Not a necromancer. Uh-huh. <laughs> she is. <laughs> okay, so what's this errand about? The errand, then, is very simple. I needed the skull of Lavul Andrano. You'll find it in the Andrano Ancestral Tomb. But take care not to upset the natives. Dunmer have some peculiar primitive prejudices against necromancy and take grave objection <laughs> funny to unauthorized tomb visits okay and where is the Andrano ancestral tomb is south of Pelagia just off the road just before you reach the fork when the road goes southwest towards Sidanin and southeast to Vivek you may need an enchanted blade. Uh, some spirits are immune to normal weapons here. Take this old short sword. Don't need it. Thank you. And maybe these old scrolls will come in handy. Okay. So, south of Pelagia, just off the road, just before you reach the fork where the road goes southwest to Sidanin. So, Pelagia. South. It goes southwest to Sidanin and southeast to Vivek. Okay. We're in for a bit of a walk. Hey, I guess I, sh I suppose I should ask more about the skull. Let's see. The skull. The skull. No. No, oh, there he is. He was no one special, a journeyman enchanter. There may uh, there may be many skulls in Andrano too, but uh, you'll have no problem recognizing Lovano's skull from the ritual markings. Okay, so it's especially marked of that particular skull. Let's see some books. Mm, nope, no skill books. How about here? Looking for something in particular? Yes, skill books. No. You have my attention. Sure. <laughs> I should find a bed and sleep for a little bit. This is a Bethesda game after all. Uh, beds are magical and they always heal you up to full health. <laughs> okay. So, south of Pelagia. That way. Uh, 
Okay, since we're in for a bit of a walk, how have you all been doing? What brings you here? You're all terribly quiet, which suggests to me that no one's actually watching. Ouch. Well, we're outside the city. No. Still technically in the city. And that flickering when you open stuff is still there. Okay, now we can rest. Until healed, please. I just wanted to rest. Judging by the amount of stamina I did not recover, pretty sure he jumped me the moment I went down. <laughs> And I will take the pricey stuff so I can sell it later. Well, his armor's mine now. There we go. We actually managed to get a full seven hours of rest. Just like that. Okay, so Pelagiad is back that way. Do, 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 do. Very nice music. I mean, if no one's saying anything, I'm just going to be quiet. sign over there should tell us where we need to go Mount Khan, Molag Mar, Balmora, Ghost Gate, Suron, and Pelagia. All right. I don't see that cheap uh, HDR effect anymore. It does look nice. Even after all this time, you can tell that, like, the leaves are just sprites there, but from a distance, like, here, it looks nice. Are we there yet? No, no we're not. How the heck did I get from Pelagia? I walked from Pelagia to Balmora. Why was the map not... I don't... I... Something's up there. Get out. Well, I'll go around then. Fine. Oosh. Yep. 
you're still waiting for that for me to give the thing to that person aren't you yeah still dead sorry I kind of did that <laughs> Okay, south of Pelagiad, we're just off the road, just before the fork, from where the road goes to Sidanin on one side and Vivek on the other. Right. Are we getting there? Slowly. Mm -mm. Well, I guess we're not going to make it there before nighttime comes. One thing I am noticing, um, despite the very good quality TN panel that uh, this 2560 by 1440 monitor has, and with everything adjusted and the gamma brought down to like 85%, it, it's still not as good image quality. like color wise as the um, very cheap IPS uh, display on the uh, UHD monitor I have I have um, I'm, I was just looking at the uh, preview video basically what you all are seeing and yeah that IPS is still very very good but hey 144 Hertz IPS monitors are very expensive <laughs> Okay, this is a fork in the road. Wait. That's Vivek. So it's before this. Just off the road. That goes to Sidanin. No, that goes to Vivek. I guess to see that in. I There's gotta be something here. There's a house there. Okay, maybe this isn't the right fork. No, it's, it's gotta be. It's that's that's Vivek. Evan Hart and Vivek. Mm, Vivek. Almora Pelagia. See that in Vivek. There's the farm just off the road. Is that it? No, there's no way that's it. <laughs> About 54 minutes, Mir. <laughs> Ish. Well, there is something by the lake there, but I figured if it was going to be by the lake, they would have said, by the lake. And since this is already on the way to Ebenhart, there's gotta be a tomb. 
somewhere around here. Let's go back up the road. So it is south of Pelagia. That much... That's where we are, for the most part. And it's just off the road, uh, before the fork. I honestly don't remember where the fork to Sidanin is. But yeah, that, that, that that's basically the only fork there, unless it's this one here. <coughs> Yes, you need so many cores to run, um... Okay, maybe this is the one that they mean. Ebonheart, Vivek, Sidanin. Alright. Okay, so it's gotta be here. There it is. Wow, I went right by it and I didn't even see it. Okay, here we are. Andrano Ancestral Tomb. Did I go in here? There's a dead body, but it wasn't me. <laughs> I swear, I just killed the ghost, if that's even possible. <laughs> the shrine to Saint Veloth. There's a bone walker. Thank you for clipping through the door like that. And now let's see just how annoying that skeleton wants to be. Not very. Very good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me your... Ah, dang it. <laughs> Too much weight. Let's see, 200, 500, 200, 100. Okay. Can I carry them now? No. Dang it. 19 each. 200, 200, 500. This stuff isn't. Oh, I can get rid of that. 339. Ooh, just barely. Cool. That's probably where the skull is. I shall make my way down there, then. Some bone meal in the urns. Makes sense. And we're looking for a peculiar skull with some ritual markings on it. Hello, Mr. Ghost. Oh, it's a skeleton. <laughs> I was going off the sound effects. It sounded like a ghost. <laughs> Fire assaults. I'll take those. Cool. I don't like your arrows. Okay. Well, I do like your arrows, but it's mostly so I can sell them. There's short arrows. I mean, it's the value of six. No. No, no, no. Also, no. Small chest. And a silver dagger. No, thank you. Bungler's Bane. Yes. See, if this was a, a modern day game, I'd say there's like a hidden passage behind here. But it isn't, so there probably isn't. So, yeah. Let's see. Both of these go down. This one goes down less. And it's also smaller, so. And here we are. Weight limit! <laughs> Since we're at the weight limit, we can do some potions. Potion making, uh, let's see, restore health, and where's the salt rice? Restore health. 
No. <laughs> of course not. The game wouldn't just give me a potion of restore health like that. Mm. You also give restore health. Failed, 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 failed. Can I make at least one potion of restore health? No? Fortify personality and magicka. Okay, those worked. Go figure. That one drains a lot of stuff. Okay, let's pick ectoplasm because we have a lot of that and we can make drain attribute poison. Some bungler's bane. There we go. Also drains speed. Drains speed and strength. Can we add something to make it even worse? Ooh, two extras. Cool. <laughs> that was working. <laughs> Figures. Well, I, I just need to keep one bungler's bane. No. That does add an extra something. Not entirely sure what that extra something is, but that's nice. Okay, bone meal. Drain fatigue. And how about you? Drain agility. Very nice. Keep those. That drains fatigue. Resists poison. Mm. No. No. How about an emerald and a diamond? Drain agility. Alright. And the ghoul heart. It gives paralyzed and something else. Water walking. No. <laughs> Asking too much of that of that one. Uh, see, it's a little improvements because back in the day you were basically doing trial and error to try and figure out which um, things work with the others. However, there is something to be said about uh, newer games like Skyrim actually enter making that automatic for you. There's a lot to be said, actually. <laughs> okay, can I move now? Yes, I can. Cool. <laughs> All of that just to clear uh, a bit of weight so we can continue exploring. Open MW will run on my Haswell Intel GPU. Yeah, it should. It's not, um, open scene graph is not as... Not performance intensive as the original engine, but it does run better in some situations, worse in others. And you won't get any shadows. There is that. Ooh, there he is. The skull of Lavul Andrano. That's what we're here for. So now I'm just going to take this book and what's in your chest? There's this Chuck. Restore luck. And a native bone mold helmet, but it's only medium armor, so I'm not gonna gonna use it. I want to see what else is this? Yes, yes, it is. We're all the way down here now. Oh, I mean, all the the promise of that book being here and the just regular book. It, there's not even anything else down here. It's, ugh. What is the point? And close that door. And I suppose that about wraps us up for another installment of OpenMW. Uh, this is part 8. Yes, part 8. 
And uh, this is going to be my fallback game whenever there's a slow week that no interesting games have come out or I don't feel like talking about any game in particular. This is what I'm going to be doing. Just because I like to play this game without any particular reason to do it. I, I just like to play it. It's... It's that kind of game for me. It's this and Fallout 2, but... I figure, as far as a visual spectacle goes, OpenMW is much better than Fallout 2. So, thank you all very much for joining me. I shall be making my way back to Balmora. And I shall see you once again in Vardenfell next week, unless something else pops up. And should you be interested in some more content before uh, Tuesday next week, tune in tomorrow for Linux Weekly Daily Wednesdays. Tune in on um, Thursday for Jordan Stream, whatever he's doing. Tune in on Friday for Ven Stream, the Friday Night Foobar. And of course, tune in on Saturday for Linux Gamecast Weekly, the big show, the show that started this whole bit of madness, what we have going on. So, if you're looking forward to a full week's worth of content, don't forget twitch.tv forward slash Linux Gamecast, patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast, and of course, um, linuxgamecast.com. I shall see everyone tomorrow. See ya!